Can you drop one more hint? Uh, you got one more little nugget? Yep. The Sonic <laughs> has a the Sonic has a rough time during this episode. Hello Whovians and welcome back to another video. Today we are guessing the Doctor Who episodes from The Bad Review. Whoa. But before we get into it, I must mention that the Lonely Assassins competition is still running. If you want to win a copy of the game and or a signed poster, the uh, competition details are in the description below, so check it out. The competition closes on Friday, so get to it. And in other exciting news, the Crispy Pro official Discord server exists. It happened, it launched last night, um, and it's we've already got 50 members, so go and click the link in the description below and join the server. It's a lot of fun. You can join me and some other very cool Whovians on there. Massive shout out to Troy Red Archer Live for having me set up that server. I would be lost without him. So go and check out his links in the description below. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's enjoy this new series and the new look of the channel. Peace. <laughs> I'm joined today with someone you may recognize from the Who Busters. It's Will, the Doctor of Who. How are you, good sir? I'm good. I'm ready to hear about some bad though. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna hear about plenty of bad things today. Well, they're mostly, actually, they're pretty good episodes. They're, they're good. They're, they're, people are just, just wrong. people are a bit, a little bit picky. Yes, thank you so much for coming on today. Um, I understand you have a YouTube channel that you post to quite frequently. I do. do you want to tell the people about that? Yeah, you want to check it out. It's uh, youtube.com slash each to their own. We post like gaming content, but also WandaVision maybe out of the time of this video. Who knows? We're talking about that a whole lot. Anything nerdy, we're talking about it there, so come on over. Come oh. chill with us. It's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Shall we begin? Uh, yeah. So I've carefully handpicked these ones, but they are episodes from Doctor Who. I know you have seen them. Um, and yeah, good luck. And if you if okay. you get it if you get it right, then you get three whole points. And you can redeem them at the end, yeah. Cool, it's a gift shop. Love There's a little shop. gift shop at the end, yeah, it's a little crispy gift shop. This one's called This Is The End For Me. I love wow. Doctor Who. Glued to the screen for every single episode for 40 years. I love it, but not now. The last season was dire. This season is no better, and this episode is now my last. 40 years is a good- I like this, because you've, you've already given, like, some sort of hintage. Because mm -hmm. yep. 40 years puts it a little bit behind, I assume. Like, it's not- it's not current, possibly. It's a toughie. It is a, it's a good start, though. Uh... I don't know. I'm gonna say, like, freaking uh, Robots of Sherwood. No way. What no. the heck? It's actually- really? it's actually Spyfall Part 2. So. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was the way to go. You got me good. I did, you yeah, no, when, when you said I was like, oh, wow, no. This one's called, This Episode Was Bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, it had all you needed to make a great Doctor Who episode, except that it broke the cardinal rule when it comes to the Doctor and time travel. You can't go back on someone else's timeline. Interesting. Mm. That is a lot of Doctor Who. Yeah, it is a lot of Doctor Who. But this person, I've never heard of the cardinal rule. Have you heard of the cardinal rule? No, and they, they capitalized the V, so it must be a real Yeah, thing. the uh, cardinal the rule. Card Not a cardinal rule. It could be as simple as, but, and I mean, I guess they didn't go back on it, but maybe if this person is an idiot, because they're not liking Doctor Who, it could be Vincent. Mm -hmm. could, but I mean, it doesn't really go back on the light timeline. No, um, they do go forward. But I they like only where go your head's forward. Are. Can you drop one more hint? Uh, you got one more little nugget? Yep. The Sonic <laughs> has a the Sonic has a rough time during this episode. A Christmas Carol. It's a Christmas Carol. You got it. That's a point. Of course. That's a point there. It was on the tip of my tongue because it is like it is the go-to like go back on someone's timeline. But I was mm. like, surely this is the episode that you hate. It is. Yeah. It's one of the best. That's but what also, I'm saying. That's the point of the video. And that totally is the forgot. point of the video. Yeah. <laughs> this one's called Enough with the Showboating. I so hoped after Stephen Moffat took over, we'll return to clever, well thought out, scary stories of the. This one's really poorly worded, by the way. Of the oh, yeah. like that he ridden in previous seasons and come away from the overblown, bombastic, and relentless showboating that the series had become. Oh. But I would say that the showboating began with Moffat, so I don't know what he was talking what this was talking about. I don't know, he um he must have a thing against against Davies. And also, I just wanna say overblown bombastic is exactly what Doctor Who should be. So this person clearly just doesn't Preach. understand what Doctor Preach. Who is. Um <laughs> He also probably doesn't understand that Stephen Moffat doesn't write every episode. So mm. 
<laughs> Which I'm, I'm I'm trying to read I'm trying to read the crispy. Um, Never try and read the okay. crispy. <laughs> is he coming in as early as Beast Below and already isn't happy? I can't tell you. I feel like I'm, that's too early. I'm legally not allowed. I know to tell you. you. Well, you can eventually. Is it the Big Bang? Oh, great guess. <laughs> Incorrect. That's the one I would have yeah, gone with yeah. with the information given because that is the most overblown bombastic Moffat episode I can remember. But no, yeah. that was actually a good man goes to war. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. So the other side of the finale. It's the other Fair side. Enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. I will give them that. That is a very overblown bombastic and yeah, relentlessly absolutely. episode. Mm. Okay. But, I mean, yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. This one's called. Uh, the shredding of Doctor Who. Oh, wow. Moffat seems to be of the view that Doctor Who viewers are obese, middle-aged men who live with their mothers and don't question what they watch on television. The closing moments suggest a new arc is planned for next year. Doctor Who, hang on, Moff. You haven't properly finished the last arc yet. I only know one episode that does end with this. But I'm wondering if this is like, I am forgetting that there's another episode that has this. Hmm. Mm. Is it just, is it the Wedding of River Song or is it Time of the Doctor? I've given the two possibilities, so if I get it wrong, I can at least pretend that I knew. I'm yeah. gonna go with the likely answer, which is the Wedding of River Song. You're absolutely correct. Well done. Well yeah. done. Well done. Yeah. I chucked that in there because the other one I remember ended with like Doctor Who was um bloody Asylum of the Daleks when all the Daleks are asking True. and I was like hmm but it, it the, I realized that the title of this is the shredding of Doctor Who which kind of rhymes with the wedding of River Song kind of oh, so I was like oh maybe I gave it away anyway you've done well you you've done well you're you on didn't. you're on what six points now this one's called cliched crap <laughs> From okay. its cliched villains to the Doctor's <laughs> ongoing mistreatment of Martha, and the fact that it doesn't seem like Gareth Roberts' script has been researched, like, at all. My brain is not remembering which episode he wrote. Honestly, honestly neither. Episode. I was surprised. So, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is a, a speed round. You said it was heated. I'm oh. going to say it's the Shakespeare Code. You're absolutely right. Well yeah. done! <laughs> well done! Good. That's double points. That is double Hell points. Yeah. This one has my um my favorite title so far. Cool. It's called Pretty Bad. Every time re-watching this, I always do something else as I'm watching some sweaty people run about and occasionally scream as a guy in a weird helmet comes closer is the definition of dull. Wow. Look, I, I can leap to an episode straight away here. Mm -hmm. I almost want to pat it out a little bit. I want to say 42? 42 what? The, uh, the episode 42? Oh, the episode 42. You're absolutely correct. Yeah? Yeah, you're uh... right. Damn, I feel... Damn, now I'm scared I made it too easy. I think at the start, All I was right. like, oh, maybe he's not going to get it. But now I reckon you might be you might be on the it's, bloody winning streak here for the rest you know, of this. But it's like it's like my um, my brain has been unlocked because at the start of this, there's no way I would have gotten that. No. It's like I'm just slipping back into like 2010. Right yeah, you, it's all coming back. The nostalgia <laughs> wave is going to help you. This one is called... um. Tedious, inconsistent, and overly melodramatic. This episode drags on and on, and has the most ridiculous plot twist at the end. Each episode of Doctor Who gets worse and worse, with this being the crowning achievement. So far they've been pretty good episodes that people have been bagging, so I'm like... This, this feels like, especially with the plot twist, because a lot of Doctor Who has good plot twists, but those plot twists can sometimes piss people off. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that this person just doesn't like mm. this great... And overly melodramatic as well, a lot of those uh, most ridiculous plot twists at the end. The almost people? Uh -oh. Good guess though, that is a good yeah. guess. No, this one's actually The Doctor Falls. Oh. Yeah. Weird, what's... When, oh. when, um, I think it's when the first Doctor comes back that they're right, that, that's mad weird at. For them. It's the the most ridiculous plot twist. If I've ever okay. seen a ridiculous plot twist, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah. boy. N n not the one where the companion turns into freaking just goo on the floor. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, that that's fine. totally normal. This one's called Another Disappointing Finale to Another Disappointing Season. This may well be the worst episode of Doctor Who that I have ever seen. The episode fell apart in what has become all too common in Doctor Who. An inability to maintain quality writing. Can I ask, is there any repeats? 
Have we? Is it? There's any read features episodes in this? Yeah. <laughs> Unless you can't answer that. <laughs> no, there there are. I have repeated episodes in this list. Yes. I have to remember what I said in the last <laughs> twenty minutes. <laughs> um, nah, look, I fail. I'm gonna say the Doctor Falls. It is the Doctor Falls. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I did, Good I did job. the one. I did the I one too. It. I did the one too. Yeah. For, like back to back, they are the most wrong people I have ever seen. We are getting closer to the finale here, folks, and uh, hopefully it's not a disappointing finale. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> this one is called. It went splat! You'll notice I've given it two stars. Yes, I'm being generous for once. No, oh, it came so close to being good, then became so crap. The Doctor Falls? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an interest. this is such a- and this isn't a comment on your idea here. It's such an interesting thing, because you've got to go into the mindset of someone else, because, <laughs> like, this is not my opinion. I'm no. trying to think of an episode- I know, I know this then... definitely isn't your opinion. Okay. Oh, I'm actually I'm actually not quite sure what your opinions are on this episode, but I don't think you'd think it's so crap. I'll no give idea, I'll give you a, I'll give you a hint. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um it's one word. Uh Rosa. No. Damn. <laughs> I'm really, we're going to list them all. Logic here. <laughs> um Okay. I'm legitimately I, look, I can. I'm going to try and think of another one that's a single word. Oh. Oh, yeah. Listen. It's listen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. Listen. Despite everything I said, I would agree with this. Like, you would I, agree. I, 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 it was the same where I was like, oh, this is almost a good episode, but then I think for me it just landed a bit flat. It landed. Oh, wow. Listen here, buddy. You're at the end. Nice. You're at the end. You've got oh. one more to go. Are oh. you ready? This one is for triple points. This one uh, does not have a title. They did not put one in. Oh. So it's a mystery. I can't give you any hints there. Okay. I'm not their target market. Clue. I saw the first episode in 1963 when it was first broadcast. But I am a new who and torture fan. And though understanding this is aimed at young adults, I was disappointed. This is, this is good because I feel like they're giving a lot of information that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like it's like someone going like I work seven jobs and I I like earn this money. It's like yeah. Cool. And my wife left me. He's got the young adult thing there, so he's clearly saying that this is a bit maybe kiddish, a little bit mm -hmm. babyish, whatever this episode is. It's definitely um, young adult. It is definitely young adult. It's definitely young adult. It's definitely aimed at young adult, and this mm -hmm. person was disappointed. My mind straight away jumped to the tree episode. The in the forest in the night. Yeah. But this also could be a Christmas special because all of them are very, They're very young adult yes, kiddish. Yes, yes, yes. Because yes. I could go all the way over here and then it's wrong. Nah, it... go there. <laughs> is it class? Yes. It is class. It yeah. is class. You've done it. You've done it. Oh my Hell god. Yeah. Wow. Thank God, yeah. it's, it's that corner, man. It's like, it's that I've got all my corner. Doctor Who books in one corner. <laughs> Was that a disappointing finale? Because I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Not at all. You have 42 points. Amazing! I my mean, favorite like, Chris Chibnall episode. Yes, with the sweaty people. You get a two-in-one. You get an, ex an exclusive Crispy Pro Live Whoa. show. A mug. Um, and it's got a little, a little TARDIS inside just for you. Yes. Just for you, Pretty good. but it never ends. What's in the TARDIS? A bunch of USBs from my high school days. Thank you so much for coming on. That's gonna do it, guys. Um, let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of these reviews. Are they just, are they ridiculous, or are they just so crap? So crap. Subscribe to each to their own. They are unbelievable. They have some excellent, excellent content. Your boy's there, Sam's there. Please like this video, please subscribe to this channel and each to their own. And we'll see you next time for some more episodes and their bad reviews. You wanna say Alon Z for me, Will? Alon Z? Oh, that was way better than how I do it. Damn. Oh, it's okay, you can, you can still do it. All right, I'll do it in my um, best David Tennant. You ready? Here we go. <clears throat> Listen. <laughs>